back for the King of the Hill Summer Finals. How did this guy get here? Bill Crane. I don't think it ever has, but Bill is back. His opponent tonight is the number one seed, Jeff Snuffer. No, it's not going to happen. I'm not injured this year, so I'm ready to go. Full season of bowling left-handed. I got some games in right-handed this year. Had bowled in two months, so right-handed. So, well, maybe a month when I won the Kegel Torch Tournament, but that was another story. Uh, here's Jeff Snuffer. He's a two-time champion. Starts out with a 5-10. It's all about tonight. Yeah. All right, so just starts with an open. We had thirty nine bowlers tonight. Top 31 may match by a 483. 483. Top qualifier, like we said, was Jeff Snuffer with 649. We are bowling on, well, the right lane that he's up right now, 28 foot great drought. The left lane is the 52 foot great flood. It's a pattern we use every year for the summer finals. Looks like he liked to go to your thing and he crosses Brooklyn. Interesting stuff. And again, this pair is fresh. They have not bowled on it all day. Absolutely. Mr. Crane qualified 11 with 562. 80 grit pad on that ball. Unreal. Is that the ball he used last year? The Dream On, same as last year. Extreme opposites. Bill electing to go with the green and gold this year. business. He's up with the first three strikes. Third frame coming up. Jeff looks to be using the track tactics. That one's doubled up as well. Every year, five hundred dollars. So Jeff in qualifying at two sixty nine his first game. And he went one ninety one, one eighty nine for six forty nine. Tonight, Game one, Jeff won with 269. Second place was Dakota Daniels and Zach Newman with 225. Game two, Tyler Sims 258 and AJ Griffin with 236. Game three, Jerry James with 246 and Adam Batwiner 211. Only 200s winning Game Pots this week. Well, 
its path to the finals time sponsored by AboveAllBowling.com. In the round of 31, Bill took out Zach Haggy. Round of 16, Keith Gackley. In the round of 8, he took out Bob Cameron Jr. In the final 4, he took out Vinny Trombetta to make the TV finals today. King's rules. Do it anytime you want. The reason why we do that is because uh, the king feels that it takes skill to get the right surface, and if everybody has the opportunity to do it, everybody can get an Amberlon pad, everybody can get some sandpaper, do whatever you want. If you're smart enough to know what you're doing, and you're the first person to figure out what you need, you're not hurting anybody else but yourself. Keeping it clean. Yeah, once again, it's a path to the finals. Sponsored by AboveAllBowling.com. Round of 31, Jeff Snuffer got a bye. Round of 16, he took out Ryan Hernandez. Round of 8, Taylor Ellison. Final five, he took down Ben D. St. Jean to make the TV finals today. You should have saw Ben's fingers. Did you see Ben's fingers? Ben hadn't bowled like in three or four months. He was all torn up. That's right. That's why it's the Great Flood. No problem, I'm spare. So six frame coming up, Jeff's only down by twenty. Taking his time here, yeah? making sure everything's right. spare opportunities because they do strike so much. But when you go back home, you're bowling on China and you never get a chance to spare. You're always striking. Got it in a little. Oh, it could be trouble. Fine, I'm working 
and then the strike. Alright, so stuff is pulled within 17 right now, it looks like. You can go within 7 here. Another strike. Oh, oh broke the Ooh, oh, the 5 God, stays up! That's a tough break right there. Let's see if he can follow it up with the spare. Got a chance? No. Nope. That's a one fifty and the eighth for Snuffer. That's a one forty three and seven. Through the nose, that's trouble. Alright, we got a pretty much an even match now. Bill gets his count here. And I guess one. Alright. Ninth frame coming up, Bill's up by one. It could be a ninth and tenth frame finish. Bill's gonna have to finish on the uh, the slick lane. This bear is very important right here. Not an easy one. Nope. Open in the ninth. Alright, nice frame. Once again, big spare coming up. Spare here, we'll put him up by about 10. Alright, so it looks like uh, there's two strikes. The first off, 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 the That's right, strike spare. Potential tie. Remember this, this was this was the lane that he left that 5-7 on last time. Or 5-10. See if he can throw a good shot. It's going high. Oh, Brooklyn. Alright, strikes here, shuts him out, wins his third title, anything less, Bill's got a chance. Going nose, there's your winner.
Stuffer's going to win his third King of the Hill title. $500 first place. Bill's going to take home $250 with the second. Final score, Jeff Snuffer, 200, Bill Crane, 179. Let's see if we get a word with the competitors here in a minute. Bill Champion, yes. Jeff Snuffer, congratulations. And here is $500. Thank you, sir. Some folks, what are we throwing today on the two cameras? Uh, 360 grit tactics on the long lane and a black urethane hammer on the short lane. All right. Really tough component. Uh, we, uh, we got lucky there. So, so you're gonna bowl the king next? If the king challenges me, I gotta bowl the king. I can't. I won't, I won't back down to the challenge. Are we taking out the king? Trying to uh, cut his hair? Let's, let's go. Shoot up. Let's go. All right. We're really gonna do this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Gotta make quick the king's gotta dig. Yeah. I heard. You gotta, you gotta dig with first, destiny. First uh, good bowling. Thanks. Thank you. Put your half of this is mine. Yeah, which I'll just go ahead and settle that up with you right now. And uh, there you go, because uh, one, one thing, one thing you need to work on your spares because this just cost you about ten fifty bucks. Yeah. Um, so we split. We had three hundred. Right? Go ahead and continue. So tell me the balls you used this year. Well, it was the same two that I used last year. It was the uh, Dream On. Um, started with one eighty uh, with the house machine and made the switch to, uh, unfortunately, I felt like the 180 might not have been enough, so I switched to build lane screen. And uh, it got me pretty far in on, I guess, just a couple of bad shots in the final that uh, obviously is from lack of practice and lack of bowling this summer. That what happened in the eighth and ninth frame? Well, the eighth frame, I just, I like I said, I haven't been bowling a whole lot, so my spare shooting has been off. I can strike as well as anybody, but when, I'm, when I haven't been bowling a whole lot, my spare shooting has been off. I knew that was a concern coming in. The ninth, I threw it bad, and then the tenth, you know, obviously I had no chance from there. But, yeah, I got, I got to look at it from a perspective that we've had a pretty good run the last two years. Uh, summer finals last year, uh, runner-up this year. I only lost once in the summer finals. It's, uh, you know, two of two or four times in the finals I've won, and I've made the final match three of the four, so I've had a pretty good run in this. And we're only just getting the start because, uh, as uh, many people know, I'm back in town. I'm back in Mishawaka, and uh, I'm actually very gracious. So I'm back in town and back around all my family and friends. And I'll tell all you right. what, it was much more time, relaxing this time coming up here. Time to go play the game. I'll play the ball that if you'd like to. No, I got one already lined up.
2019 King of the Hill Finals. We have Jeff Schnuffer facing the King of Kings, Sean Sosowski, on our legendary green money pins today. We got Sean Sosowski starting on the 28 foot great drought pattern today. And the pit kicks off the 10, nice and easy. Look at that smile. All right. All right, we got Jeff Snucker stepping up to the 58 foot. 52. 52 foot. Great flood. Buries the 10 in the pit. And it is a 52 foot. Great flood pattern. Thank you, Bill Gray. You guys are very welcome. Yes, Bill Crane, the now former King of Summer Finals champion, just lost the final a few minutes ago. And this gentleman right here, Jeff Snuffer, he rolled a uh, hell of a game where even 200 was good enough to win. And he has definitely earned that right to both Sean. We're going to see if Sean will get his hair set two years in a row and end up on the couch at home. I <laughs> Sean's <laughs> shaking his head over there because he doesn't want to admit that he was on the couch last year. <laughs> Sarah's talking about that back there, by the way. <laughs> That's close. What a little Brooklyn and left the 10 pin standing. Shouldn't be too hard to get. It should be, but it's supposed to be a tricky on the short pattern. Yeah, especially on the right side with these right handers. Well, even on the left side, if you know, I miss it a little bit at the bottom or I miss your target. You pay for it. That's, I mean, that's why I missed the two pin in the final. <laughs> a two pin. But uh, Snuffer's a good special. Let's we'll see what this is. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. Yeah, spoke that's, too soon. But that's what we were talking about, though. We were just talking about these spurs on the right side for the tree. Mm -hmm. We get to see what Sean Sasowski does here. We know what his game is on this pattern. He plays it like he'll bowl with Peterson. And the way he uses plastic pattern, you know, throw a hard and straight at the and try to get him on. That's exactly what he did. That's exactly what he does. Now he's going to go to his hooking ball for the lane of the that hooks, mm -hmm. which is, it looks like he's going to the green, gold, emerald, white kick. And he bowled a turn a couple weeks ago, and he said he absolutely hates this ball. But it's been working for him. Yeah, but he also ran the Kevin Torch one. So yeah, he, he did. He just needs to shot. There he's the pocket again. And he's on the way, and he got it. Sean's just doing Sean things. <laughs> <laughs> Over here smiling. He's smiling as he opens up the match with a double. A double? That's a turkey, my friend. Oh, that's a turkey. That's a three-bagger? That's a three-bagger off the bat. Ouch. And what is he throwing here over here? A tactics? He's throwing a tactics. So it looks like a track taxic, tactics. I can't even say that. That's a tongue twister. Tactics. It is. Tactics. <laughs> I'll find it. I say it better than I just did. He's just playing right around 15. Fall back and oh! A 8-10. I've seen a couple of those today with him. He could have done that, you know, like a game ago and we'd have been okay. Well, he did have, what, a 5-7, five, a 5-10? 2-5-7. No, 2-5-10s, and that's the boat. Absolutely hilarious. Snuffers are running his own head, I think. I think this will buy you around. That sorry, bar's closed. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Snuff's going to have the ball for the short part. He's trying to keep the ball in play at this point because he knows he's done. About 35 already. 
Much straighter that time. We did note the ball change, actually. <laughs> we just compared me to Randy Peterson. I take that as a very dishonest, uh, dishonest uh, insult. Does that make me Rob Stone? And the... Uh, you gotta say it, right? Uh, I'll get oh. that. I'll get that privilege to be Rob Stone today. Oh man, he's Rob Stone. I'm Randy Peterson. We're in the booth here at Inman's tonight. Not Shane really Kishelsky much of a booth. Is no longer sitting on a ham bone. Who you got? Sean is uh, destroying. He's preparing for his Peterson next week with uh, Brian Schwartley, which is, uh, oddly enough, a squad I'm going to be bowling with. Hmm. So we're going to have some fun next uh, Saturday up at uh, the Pete House, and hopefully my spare stream will be a little better. Hey, mine wasn't on par either. Yeah. Taking the heads out of play. Lifting it through the front. Oh, he has a sleeper pack there. Yep. Three six nine ten. Three six nine ten. My favorite. Bo Burton used to say, "We have to hook at this because of a double." Game. Not a lot of people do it. People have been going straight at it these days. They do because they create so much ball speed. Mm -hmm. I'm still very old about this spare. I think hooking at it is the way to go because you've got to take out that double wood nine pin. But Sean's still going to throw it hard and straight and hopefully get him and he just jumped it. There you go. Oh, that's disappointed face right there. Yep. Yeah, I really don't throw it left. Yeah, I don't know who's slow, Snuffer or Steve Tobin, but we're gonna, we're gonna let the fans decide that. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. With the head pen, leaving the one two. Hey Sean, one of my favorite movies of all time is the Major League. You know what line I'm about to use? Just that outside of the corner. What was that, Sean? About your uh, spare shot there at the 36910? Should have thrown left. <laughs> Spare. At least he's keeping himself somewhere. Will that be considered legal to throw a left handed even though it's, it's not King's really rules. a sanction? It's King's rules. You can do whatever you want. You can throw a left handed, right handed, even surface changes mid game, which I did a couple of times tonight going from 180 to lane screen. Hmm. Which that was kind of interesting to say the least. He went back to that plastic ball. Hey. Too soon. Take your line and twist it just a bit inside. <laughs> well played. Well played. <laughs> Even a six spin. Well played, Grasshopper. Well played. Well played, Grasshopper. Remember, he whipped a 10 pin earlier. That was a little bit more farther left than that pin right there. Yeah, he, he missed a 10 pin by six, 16 and a half feet. Uh oh. Wow. Missed inside that time. Hey Snuff, I'm gonna quote you from two years ago. You missed that one by 16 and a half feet. <laughs> well played. You gotta remember to save a little bit for the final. 16. He's just throwing that Inman's plastic ball right up the middle, hoping for the best. And if this keeps up, Sean's hair is set for this year. There we go. Sean's hair is probably going to be safe this year. We'll see if later in the game, toward the latter part of the game, if he actually takes the spare ball, rolls it down the middle of the lane, on the left, on the right lane, 
because he's got his opponent beat so badly. The oh, one year you. he did that. The one year he did that. Which I thought was absolutely hilarious. Oh. Makes it to His hair is safe. Hey, Sarah here, her reaction to Sean's hair being safe. I can tell your voice. Mine's everywhere. They always, they always blame me for this shit. You know that. I'm Rob Stone. I'm Randy Peterson. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to the action. Yep, back to the action here. Seth was shooting up the floor pen. Looks like he made it though. So you guys, I can shoot a spirit. We know you can. Look at that form. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Get one. <laughs> Throw one left handed. Let's see it, Snuff. Yeah, you can get out of it, man. Just roll it. Oh, that looks great. <laughs> I'll admit it the other way, for sure. Strike on the right lane. He's going right at the temp and they missed earlier. Oh, nope. And he still missed it. <laughs> this time by two and a half feet. Not 16 and a half? Nope. What was he trying this time? Here, real quick, since this match is over, let's get an interview with Sarah and ask her what she thinks about Sean's hair being safe right now. That's why she's trick shots. He's going lefty. He's going lefty on this shot. Oh. Lefty. And, oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> it didn't matter who he pulled this year. He was keeping his hair. Oh, that was decent. He's keeping his hair this year. It did not matter who he was pulling. At the moment. Yes, two handed. He is Let's up by 214. Oh. oh, that one ain't gonna hook. Hey, you can't average 240. Oh, there we go. This is what I was waiting to see. They got shit in the chair, this, too. He did this in 2000. He did this in 2016. At the end of the match, when he knew he had it won, he took his plastic ball and kicked it down the lane and got seven. This time he's going to get seven. seven again. <laughs> <laughs> With the final score, 221 to 114. The King of Kings, his hair is saved for this year. We'll be back with some interviews. 
here we are with the uh, unfortunate. You did not get the duty of cutting Sean's hair. I wasn't cutting Sean's hair anyway. <laughs> you weren't going to do it anyway. No, I already so told we Sean both, and Sarah that. We both that, had an agreement. If we're that, just, so yeah. it didn't matter who he was going to bolt. He no. wasn't getting his hair cut anyway. No, no. no. no he and knew he wasn't getting his hair cut. That's why that's, we just threw it down the lane for That's awesome, though. So. You know, we, actually, I didn't even know you had that agreement you were going to do it because I yeah. told him earlier this week I wasn't going to do it as a surprise because, you know, I was hoping that, no, you I, know, obviously. No, I wasn't going to do it anyway. But that's but. awesome, though. But in all honesty, once again, great bowling tonight. Yes, if you earn this one, you get that title for one year. One year. It's hard to win from the hey, top seed, now, too. Now, do you want to borrow my championship belt that I got? I, I think I deserve it. I'll give it to you. It's only like a $15 I I, belt. I think I deserve it. I'll, but no, you keep it. <laughs> I, want you, I want you to remember the days when you were the champion. <laughs> uh, a couple years, I won't remember anything because I'll be old and small because I'm gray. You know what? We'll both have another opportunity at this. There we go. Hopefully, we'll run into each other. Right, right. I'm looking forward to the senior tour. Oh, you got how many more years? Uh, I got another year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what Here's the King of Kings. What do we got for you? What do we got? What do we got? Who's interviewing? It's me. You? Yes. Here, let's get out here. Let's follow the King of Kings. He got his title belt and everything here. So, as you can hear, of course, we got to hear Downstate I Came to Play, which is absolutely the worst entrance theme of all time. But. Unfortunately for everybody out there, Sean, you get to keep your hair this year, which unfortunately you didn't last year, so that weighed on your mind going you know, into this match. I really wanted to face you. I really did. But that couldn't happen this year because I really wanted to kick your ass from last year. It really, really weighed heavy on me with my broken freaking finger, just like Kurt Angle's broken freaking neck. I had a broken freaking finger. Oh, I know, and I'm, I'm really sorry that I... You gotta just pour it on to me last year. Well, I told you, I didn't want to run up the scoreboard on you last year. I was back for revenge this, this year. Well, I was ready to go. Well, you then, couldn't do it this year. You didn't have it in you. Oh, no, I really didn't. But you know what? We'll, we'll have another chance at this. I think and you were thinking about the 8th and 9th frame of your championship match, weren't you? I can't lie, I was. Good. Yeah, well, see, you get to hold that belt. I'm glad you get to think of me. Well, I got to think of your sexy ass every once in a while. You're holding that mic too close to your lips there. Anyways, I got uh, king duties to attend to that I need to get to and get out of here. It's 2.30 in the morning. King duties. Is that with the queen back there later tonight, Bet? Raw dog or, you know, you got to strap up? King doesn't reveal his secrets. Oh, you got three kids. Okay, you ready? The guy still can't carry.